In this video, I'll show you how to install your Indosnake device on your Android phone. First, you need to make sure that your phone or Android device is OTG compatible, meaning your USB port can hook up external devices such as a mouse, a keyboard, and the endoscope and function properly. If your device is not OTG compatible, then you would need the Wi-Fi adapter for the Endosnake for it to work properly. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S4 and I've confirmed that it's OTG compatible on the USB port. Once you've made sure that it's compatible, you need to go out to the Google Play Store and download the software application, Camera FI. Next, you take your Endosnake scope, take the USB connector. The connector can hook into a computer, a USB B port, or a USB C port. In this configuration, it hooks up to a US to a computer. You pull this down. There's a USB B port. If you have a USB C port, then you hook the adapter onto the end of the USB B port and plug it into your Android device. I have a USB B port on my phone, Android device. And so I will just plug it in directly, just like that. Once you plug the cable into your Android device, go ahead and launch the Camera FI application. After a second, you should see the image coming from the camera on the end of the Endosnake on your phone screen. If that works, then everything is worked correctly and you're all set to go. Some other things that you need to be aware of is there is a dial on the cable, on the end of snake, which lightens and darkens the light on the end, which will help you when you're using it in a weapon barrel or down a um, drain or searching around in the engine of a car, which are some of the applications you can use this for. So you can, if it's dark in there, you can turn this up and give yourself more light. Or if you have in your bright area, you need to turn down the light. You can adjust that. There is also a button on the cable. You press it and that'll give you a still image that you can look at later and examine if you need to examine the footage or look at some aspect of your inspection. And you need a still photograph to show for evidence or to examine further. Thank you for your time. I hope this video was informative.